January 2022. It's my man cave. Come into it. Got the cloud ceiling. Got all my arcade. All my statues I have. All right, so we finished the install. We got Big Blue added to the collection. So I changed my setup. I took the cab that was right here on this corner. And I was able to put it over here with the rest of the cabs. So it fits in pretty good. It didn't alter how the rest of everything was, how everything flowed in the room. All right, so I tried it this way. This is the other option. Option B. Doing this way right here. The door can open up enough. I mean, it will be able to once some of these racks, but it'll open all the way back. So the door clears. You got enough room to walk through. And you got all the cabs like this. Got a catty corner with Miss Pac-Man. And then Street Fighter and Turtles. Pac-Man. Like this, you have all this floor space. This is option C. Doing the cabs like this. Behind the door to come in. And what this gives is I still got space. In the room. All right, so this is option D. Doing it this way right here. It kind of starts kind of repeating in the space a little bit, but it basically puts all the caps all on, all on this side, you know. Now one way you could do it would be if you put the caps on this back wall but then they'd be like, kind of like, you have a row going that way and a row going this way. That might work good too. But I don't know if I like this way. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Hate on Joe Collectible Chronicles. And like, I got questions. So what I'm trying to find out is, am I the only person who be doing this, man? Like, I spend like, man, I want to say like my days off. I'm off on weekends, and it's like I find myself like in my room, like constantly trying to move cabinets around to get everything where everything can fit properly, and like you know just to accommodate more cabs. And I'm just curious, you know, I do it to accommodate more cabs and to accommodate more playing space. So where you got plenty of room that you can walk through, and you can gain. And you know you ain't backing into anything like that. So you know it takes a little skill to kind of like move everything around and get the situation like you want it to be. And I'm just curious to know, like, you know, how many how many collectors out there, you know, do this? Like, you know, you got arcade one up, you got our arcade, you know, you got at games, you know, Legends Ultimate. And I'm just curious, man, because like. I drive my wife crazy by doing this, you know, because I move it one way, show it to her. She'd be like, yeah, yeah, that's it right there. I like that. And then next weekend, it's a whole nother thing. And I'm just curious, like, I, I feel like it can't just be me. It can't just be me. So, you know, it just, see, I do it because, you know, like, certain arcade machines that you like, you want that aesthetic to be just right. You want it to look right when you walk in the room. You want it to kind of hit you. You know, like, you want to be able to see the style art. And it's real hard to get every machine where you can see the style art correctly. You know, you want to be able to walk through this thing. You want to be able to see the whole machine. You know, that's what you paid for. You want the experience. So you don't want nothing where you can't see it. It's not obstructed. So it takes a lot of work and a lot of planning. And like I say, I just, my mind kind of go back and forth on it. Like, I have it a certain kind of way, and I change it. So, my room always, so I always call it, you know, a Wubitz Cube, because I, I change it so much. Like, even my custom cab, I got to have this bad boy sitting a certain way, so that way, you know, I can see the artwork, because this cab right here, I customly did myself with my own artwork. And I want to be able to visually, you know, see it, you know what I'm saying? I want that, that just that, I don't even know how to even explain it, man. I want to be able to just 
walk in the room to be greeted to his presence. You know what I mean? Before I start playing, I like that. So it just, I change a lot. And then the other question I have is like, so what are y'all doing about all these stools? Like, you got to move them because they take up so much space. I mean, it's good. I like to have the stool to match the arcade machine because it looks great when you got like, like you got the whole set. And they they somewhat comfortable. And then, like I noticed, when people come to my room, now they got to have somewhere to sit at because they can't sit in my seat. You know, it's, it's, it's full of, you know, crap right now. But, you know, I can't share my seat. So... I gotta have the stools in here because I'm not gonna put no no couch in here. You know, just take up more space I can fill with more cabs. So what do y'all do with y'all stools? Like, honestly, you know, I got my walk-in closet and I got my pops, I got my movies. So I don't have no room for the stools to go in there because that's that's like another spot in my room that I go to the when my, I got more collectibles and everything in. So I'm thinking about throwing these things in the attic or the garage, man. So like. Tell me what y'all think, like, how y'all do y'all stuff. Like, do y'all spend this much time, like, changing y'all room around? I just want to make sure I'm not the only one. I mean, because, you know, you got, always got new cabs coming out. And you got to always kind of, like, you know, you're trying to make space for the new, new. You know, I want that Star Wars. And I don't know what else they might come up with. Like, in my current setup right now, I might can get about three more in this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? I get two in this corner right here. With no problem, you know, facing that way. And then maybe, maybe I might can get one in this corner right here, you know, minus the stools being over here, of course. But, um, and then, you know, I can have to go from there. But I try to make sure I got enough room to walk through and to be comfortable. So if I have a large group of people in here gaming, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody bumping into each other. We ain't like, you know, like we wrestling in here trying to get to the next cabinet. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just y'all hit me up and let me know like do y'all do this? Like I just wanna know if I'm the only one. Alright, but till next time. Everybody take care of yourself. Thank you for watching my video. And be easy.